Okay, so tonight I'm going to make chicken and asparagus lemon stir fry. So these are the ingredients and instructions, and I actually got this from a website, so I will post that. But we're gonna get things ready and started. So I'm gonna make the rice first, and I usually get like a cup and a half, and I'm gonna put them in, in my strainer. a cup and a half of rice and water. And then I'll wait until the water is pretty much clear. And as that kind of drains, we're going to heat up our stainless steel pan. And then I always add a little bit of oil, just some olive oil the bottom of the pan and I've just noticed that when I do this with the rice it sticks to the pan less and um, kind of creates a fluffy sticky chewy rice so because I'm doing the cow roast rice so that's like the sticky Asian rice so as that heats up I did one and a half cups of rice, so I'm going to do two and a quarter cups water. I don't know all exactly the ratio, but this always works for me. So I'm not one and a half cups typically keep me. It's usually, usually like one and a quarter cup for every cup of rice. About. Or maybe it's one and a half cups of water for every cup of rice. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, but I always do one and a half cups of rice, two and a quarter cups of water. And I always stir this up until, so I make sure that no rice is sticking to the bottom of my pan. Just kind of like that. And then you're going to bring this to pretty much a boil. I like to have no rice, so I got rice with my hair. Make sure that there's no rice on the edges of the pan. And I like to bring it pretty much to a boil. Um, and then we'll turn it on low and simmer for exactly 18 minutes. And now I'm going to prep the asparagus. And so I'm gonna rinse it. And then we're gonna take off the bottoms. And then I am going to cut them to kind of bite-sized pizzas. So I'm just rinsing them and getting them all cleaned off. And then you just take these and you pop them off and you can put those in your garden compost if you have one. That's where mine go. Or your green waste or the garbage, whatever you need to do. But yeah, you just and they'll pop off when they're not as, and then you won't get those super chewy ends. Okay, so my rice is bubbling. I know that they usually tell you not to do this, but I usually, I really don't like mine to stick at the bottom at all. So I just stir it around to make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom. And then I turn it down to low. And then I cover it and set it for 18 minutes. So with the chicken, I usually get these really thick chicken breasts from Costco. And so I usually always cut them in half before I dice them. And in this recipe, you dice them. Well, you cut them up into square chunks. So um, I always pat my chicken dry with some paper towel so that it's not 
super watery or juicy, and then you just cut this in half. And then we're gonna cut these into cubes. So now we have all of the chicken cut up into small, smaller chunks of chicken. And now we're going to get the lemon juice ready. The recipe calls for three tablespoons of lemon juice. So we are going to squeeze two lemons and see how much we get. It's usually two to three lemons, depending on how big your lemons are. Um, typically two is all you need. You can always add a little bit more if you really like that lemon flavor. I usually stick to around the three tablespoons because then it starts getting really tart. <laughs> So the recipe requires half a cup of chicken broth, and so I usually just use um, some chicken bouillon. So we're going to do, this is a half a cup, and add that, stir it up real good. And then it says to add the soy sauce, which is going to be two tablespoons. So we're going to add two tablespoons. So this is two teaspoons of cornstarch with two tablespoons of water and you have to mix it up until it's pretty well mixed and then when we add it later we're gonna have to mix it up again. So now we are going to add a little bit of teaspoon to our stainless steel pan. Definitely you can use a wok. I don't have one anymore and so, um, so this is what we're using. I have a deep um, stainless steel pan. So we're just gonna heat up some oil. We don't need a ton, but we're going to cook our asparagus. And then we're gonna add the asparagus. until tender crisp. Typically it's three to four minutes. I think these ones are going to be a little bit longer because they're, they're thicker asparagus. They're thicker. Good. And I always add a little salt and pepper to these. Rice is done cooking now, so I'm going to turn off the heat and then I'm just going to remove it from the heat. But I want it to sit, and I like it to sit about 10 minutes or longer. I think it's going to take about that long to cook the rest of the food, so that'll be perfect. So when the asparagus is almost all done to tender crisp, I always try a fat one and a skinny one and see if it's the right texture. And you're going to add your garlic real quick. Don't burn it. And um, your, your fresh ginger if you have it. I don't have fresh ginger today, so I'm just going to be using the uh, ground ginger. And it works because I don't like a ton of ginger anyway. But fresh ginger is always better, but I just don't have any today. So, so I'm going to add the ginger just a sprinkle of the ground ginger and add my garlic. Add 
the chicken. All right, now that the chicken is almost done cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this container and then we're going to make the sauce and then we're gonna add everything back in together. So this is the soy sauce and chicken broth mixture that I've added. We are going to cook this for about a minute and a half and get all the good chicken bits in the sauce. So we're gonna reduce it. So once that starts really boiling, I'm going to turn down the heat, let it simmer, getting all the edges, and then once this is pretty much reduced a little bit, we're going to add the lemon juice and the water cornstarch mixture. The the two lemons that I squoze ended up being about four tablespoons of lemon juice, so you could just use three. I'm going to go ahead and just use all four. I do like it kind of lemony. So, and when you add this, you do it a little at a time, or I just usually add it. And then I take my whisk and I whisk it all together. is going to thicken up. Once you notice that it's thickening up and becoming more of a sauce instead of a liquid, then you add your chicken and your asparagus and you toss and then it's going to be ready to serve. just a little thicker, so we're going to give it a minute. It's almost there. You can kind of see that it's thickening up a bit. I'll start boiling again. And there we go. And that's about the thickness I like, so then I turn it down to low, low. We're going to add our chicken back in. And toss it in the chicken. And add our delicious asparagus garlic mixture. And mix it all together. This smells amazing. It's one of my favorite dishes. Serve it up, and it's gonna be dinner ready. So here's the rice, still steaming, and it is just perfect. Perfect stickiness, is, and it's not burnt at the bottom, it's not sticking to the bottom, it is perfect. And there you have it. Lemon asparagus chicken stir fry, and it is delicious.